what I do for a living. And, and she goes, children are reminded we have this in us, this sort of universal sense of transcendence, of imagination, of being something else. And it gets shut down. People try to just shut it down your whole life. That if you say this, if you imagine this, if you be this, um, it has to be closed. And so, you know, as a, as a writer, you know, my belief is that it has to stay open. And, and that's, that's how I approach character, and that's how I approach fiction, and that's how I approach, you know, try to approach uh, human beings. Thank you. And then, uh, talking about the book, you said that it is about Pakistan, yet there are no names. And when you read the book, you find references snatching of uh, money and violence. And there are many other uh, local references. Yet, despite its political references and political aspects and rules, it, it's a great love story. It's a great love story between two people, two characters who couldn't meet, and when they turn into their like seventies. Don't get the ending over it. Something happens. I, I, I'm not going to get the book. <laughs>
doesn't say, here is how we can make you less anxious. The other half of human existence is loss. We will lose everything. That is what it is to be a human being, what it is to be alive. We lose it all. And so they, they equal growth and loss. But what is our vocabulary for talking about loss? How do we speak of loss? You know, how do we talk about getting older, getting frailer, dying? Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's all, it's all uh, 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 you know, morbid stuff. But, uh, but it's important to speak of it and to speak of it even joyfully. Because if we don't speak of it, what, what winds up happening, and I think what has happened in our society, is happening around the world, is you, you end up with a severe human psychosis, a mental illness that is all around us. When you look around at the society of ours, when I look around at society, and not just our society, all over the world, I see insanity. This is not saying what's going on here. You know, this is not, oh, I like to stand because America is doing this and there's no one, and so therefore it all makes sense. No. It is profound mental illness that is leading to all kinds of terrible stuff. Therefore, um, what antidotes have we got? What vaccinations are there out there for this stuff? And, um, and fortunately, we come you know, with a built-in capacity for love. And, um, uh, uh, and in its different manifestations, you know, that is the potent antidote we have. And I think as a, as a writer, it's something I want to explore.